I feel like maybe I don't even really have a lot of commentary on this one, so maybe I will. this one will not be a segment fully. But it's worth mentioning that the Texas Attorney General is threatening a Seattle hospital with jail unless it provides trans patient data. Basically, people are leaving Texas, particularly minors, are leaving Texas in order to get access to trans-related health care. And so Texas Attorney General is trying to cross his jurisdiction and require another state to give up data about trans people seeking care there. Um, I think that it's not unreasonable to say that this is also going to be happening with regards to abortion. I think that was the main thing that I wanted to bring up with regards to this is like, you know, there is going to be, there's more and more restrictions on healthcare rights for both trans people and people who need access to reproductive health. So like those two issues are entwined and we're going to increasingly see this whole trying to get people extradited, trying to criminalize taking trans people, like taking your trans kid across state lines because it's like, that's prevented under sex trafficking laws or something. Like they will just keep doing all kinds of crazy stuff and fascistically extending their power. And if the federal government goes the same way as these Republicans, these Republican states, then I think that it, there's a possibility that there will be a federal movement to curtail or eliminate the ability for certain states to be sanctuary states if they start requiring extradition and things like this. I'm not sure like what is going to happen, but this is pretty dramatic. Like they, they should not be trying to do this at all. You should not be trying to impose Texas state law on what's going on in Washington. Like, okay, I live in Texas, but I went to another state and I did the thing there. It was legal there where I did it. And then I came back to Texas. So like, please fuck off about it. You know, it's like the whole thing about marijuana being legalized. Like if you go to a state where it's legal, like, oh, I'm going to go to Colorado for the weekend. And I just like chill and I do it there. Like if you arrested me when I came back to Kansas, assuming that I was sober and everything by the time I got back to Kansas, you know, there should be no punishment on me for what I did legally in the place where it was legal. Like it is crazy that you would punish me for like, I explicitly left your jurisdiction so that I could go do the thing that I wanted to do. So why are you trying to extend your jurisdiction? The whole fucking point of the state's rights conversation, mod the modern day state's rights conversation is that it's supposed to be up to the people, you know, oh, we shouldn't have federal regulation because this should be up to the people. And you know, I might not agree with what the people of New Jersey chose to do here with whatever, but they still, it was the will of the people to do it. And you can't take that away from them. But you know, only some people actually believe in that. They will claim that they believe in the will of the people, but then yeah, they are doing a lot of crazy government overreach to restrict your access to basic healthcare, so. States' rights really came in clutch with abortion rights and trans healthcare. You know, these conservative states passing protections for trans people and for abortion rights, you know, it's not what you expected to see per se, but it's heartening. Anyway, I didn't have like a lot more to say beyond that, but you know, we talked about it. Cool. Look at that. We did another little segment thing. Success!